Hi everyone, Erez here. I've been offline for seven weeks. Uh, sorry for no updates, but it has been spectacular. Seven weeks, what can I say? Since I got the leg, uh, the floodgates have opened. So many things have moved forward. Uh, it's almost like an explosive feeling that um, I got my life back. Uh, not everything is easy, not everything is uh, fluid. Uh, those of you who followed me from the beginning know the struggle and know the difficulties just to make the decision to go with an elective, not really knowing where will it end. I've heard and talked with people that had a lot of success and on the other hand I talked with people that had, hadn't had much success and a lot of struggle. So there was always this tension between what will happen, how things will be, but I learned over time to let let it go, not be attached to the results because this is the worst thing that I could have done for myself. And I really concentrated on preparation, on research, on just doing the best I can because th th there was no more than really getting ready for it uh, that I could have done at that time. But now what happened is seven weeks ago I got the leg and it's as if all the pieces of the puzzle came together in such a beautiful, divine, guided way that I am just extremely grateful and in awe, seriously, of the ability to be in a position today in which, here it is, one day after I got the leg I was walking with one cane and sometime with nothing. Um, not for the long run, of course, I kept using cane and crutches for a while, so it's not that you put a leg on and you start running, it's not the case at all. But I was able to do that first day. Second day I was riding a bicycle. The third day, and don't tell anyone, I was driving a car in a parking lot, you know, all safe and stuff, but I had to try it because I didn't know when I would be able to do it and it has a lot to do with my freedom of life and what I can do and and all that so it was really important for me now I have the license I'm driving legally everything is okay so no worries it's it's pretty easy actually no issues whatsoever it's my right foot and I'm driving and using it as if it's my um, regular foot no issues whatsoever so on that part things have moved uh, within these seven weeks there have been a lot of challenges there have been days I couldn't wear the leg it was too painful the fit wasn't good uh, the limb shrinks in size and volume all the time. They say it takes about a year for it to stabilize. And what I experience is extreme shrinkage of the limb only, right? <laughs> but um, I already went through three different sockets. To fit it properly is difficult, it's challenging, it's tweaking it all the time. When it's not properly aligned, it's painful, it's difficult to walk. Um, many many challenges on, on that level but I have a great team I have Scott my prosthesist who's always there ready to help and adjust and do whatever is needed Linda from GF Strong is a godsend she teaches me really the technique and how to walk and how to use my uh, my new leg and what to pay attention to and all these little things come together in a way where they enable me to be more natural they enable me to move through this process with more grace and, 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 and less agitation and frustration which is there, it's always there, it doesn't go away but I think I have better tools today to deal with it uh, nutrition as I always said was a huge part of my recovery from operations, preparation to operations and of course now being in this new place of wanting to do so much and, and still the limb has to heal. What happens right now is interesting because capability wise I can do many many things but in terms of the structure of the limb and the physiology of it it still, it, it still requires time for it to get the stamina build up and, and, and get used to being in a socket and carry my weight and all the forces that are um, uh, that, 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 that take place inside a socket when you walk with a prosthesis all of these things are still challenging and they shift and change all the time but so far it has been tremendous um, my personal life, business life everything is just opened up 
and I'm so excited and happy. Uh, still have issues, you know, at night could be difficult and I have these tingling and, 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 and nerve sensations where they are there. Sometimes they are more prominent, sometimes they are less. There are times where it's just something which I just can't wear the leg, as I mentioned, for whatever reason, skin issues, feet issues. I'm actually trying different types of feet in order to find which one is best for me because there are so many different kinds out there. I've already went through three of them. All of them are very different from one another. I can't really say yet which one is better, but I'm going to go and try another one and out of the four, I'll choose one. I've been trying different um, sleeves. The sleeve is this thing that basically connects the uh, socket to the uh, upper leg to create a vacuum seal. I've tried different types, I'll mention those online for uh, people in similar situations and I want to know a little bit more about that. But at the end of the day, my plan is just to keep moving ahead, do the best I can, um, continue the work, uh, nothing has changed in terms of how I approach this and how I do things, but I'm in a better place now, um, I can do the rowing machine, the elliptical, cycling, my road cycling, I went for an hour and a half on the bike, yeah, spectacular, sweat, difficult, had to stop, uh, it, was, it wasn't very comfortable, whatever, but it, it, it gave me the sense that this can be done, there's still a long way to go, this is not a point A to B, this is a journey, it is for life, there will be ups and downs and I know those, Right now I'm in a pretty good place, things can change, but I have to admit that the work that I did prior on all levels, from nutrition to emotional work to preparation, research, working with people, really take responsibility to this process and understand it so I can speak the same language with all the professionals and other people, have given me the strength, has given me the ability to control what I can, lots of things we cannot control in life, but what I can, I, I was able to be in charge of and, and lead the way, and now things have just clicked into place in a beautiful way. So thank you for following me, thank you for watching this. I will post more in writing, other subjects that, um, uh, you know, the video I like to keep it a bit short, and other than that, thank you very much, uh, have a beautiful weekend, and um, all the best. Thank you.